There we are, the 10.30 collection, bang on time. What a grand day, Jess. There's nothing like a nice, peaceful day in the country. Hiya, Pat! Good morning, Ajay. Goodness me, Ajay can certainly move on that motorbike of his. <laughs> Imagine how quickly I'd get my round done if I went like that. Meow. Glad I caught you, Alf. Your seed catalogue's arrived. Champion! Uh, just in time, too. There's some winter wheat I'm thinking of ordering. I was just saying to Jess what a lovely, peaceful day it... Morning, Pat. Morning, Alf. Hi, oh, Ted. Ted. By gum, Ted certainly tears around in that lorry of his. Blink and you'd miss him. <laughs> Ted's a busy man. A lorry might be fast, Pat. But not half as good as my old tractor. Up hill or through, more the tractor will never let you down. Oh, I've been meaning to do something about that. Now you mention it, Alf, I wouldn't swap my trusty old post van for anything. Hmm. Wait a minute. I've just had an idea. Why don't we have a race around the village? Then we'd see whose vehicle was the best. What do you say, Alf? Count me in, Pat. And so we're going to have a race. Julian says Ajay is sure to win on his motorbike. But, Pat, being a good driver is more than just going fast. Drivers have to use their heads as well as their accelerators. Meow. Mm, that's very true. So why don't you have some tests along the way to find out who knows the rules of the road? That's a great idea. I'll get all the children to help. We'll invent questions and the drivers will have to stop and answer them along the way. Then we'll see who really is the best driver. Hey, this is going to be quite an event. Ladies, gentlemen and children, welcome to the Great Greendale Race. Our contestants are Alf Thompson, Hooray! Pat and Jess, Ajay Baines, Ted Glenn, I hope my dad wins. And that, he doesn't stand a chance against my dad's motorbike. Ready, set, go! And they're off. Ajay takes an early lead with Alf close behind him. Then comes Pat and, oh dear, where's PC Selby? One should never ride a vehicle unless it's in a roadworthy condition. Oh, Dad, hurry! Come on, Al. How are we supposed to catch up with Ajay when we can't get past your tractor? Sorry, Ted. There's nothing I can do about it. There. Now I'm ready to proceed. See you later, Lucy. Go, Dad, go! And PC Selby joins the race. Yeah. Yes, it looks like Edgy is already at the first test stop. Oh, well done, Ajay. You're in the lead. Now, for this test, the children have made up some road signs. You have to tell us what they mean. What's this one, Ajay? Ah, now, I know all these. That one means keep left. That looks like tunnel ahead. What about the one with the car? I made that. You've done a champion job. How long did that take you? Now then, Ajay, if you chatter with my bill, you'll lose all your lead in the race. Oh, dear. So I will. Sorry, Bill. That sign of yours means slippery road. And the last one means look out for the falling rocks. Well done, Ajay. Here come the others. See you later.
supposed to be a signpost showing us the way. Hmm. Ah, I think we'd better take this road, Alf. Nay, I think that's wrong. I'm going this way. to nothing but a rubbish dump. <laughs> I ended up at a lake. I think we both took the wrong turning. Hmm. Well, it has to be this road, then. Come on, Alf, there's no time to lose. What's happening, Mr Pringle? What can you see? Well, Adji is in the lead. Uh, oh! oh! Sorry, Adji is in the lead. I've just spotted him up on Garner Bridge. My dad's in the lead. Then it's Ted with Pat and Alf close behind. You left out my dad. Ah, there he is, Lucy. Just coming up the first test. My dad's last. Come on, Mr Glenn. We're waiting to give you the second test. Hello, you two. How am I doing? Second place. Now, this is the test, Mr Glenn. We are traffic lights. <laughs> you look more like the twins to me. We're playing at traffic lights. When we hold up a coloured bar, you have to say what that colour means on a traffic light. <laughs> now, this is a good game. Go on, then. Green. Green means go. Red. Red means stop. Orange? Oh, now, that still means stop, Katie, but you can expect the lights to change any minute. Hooray! You got it right, Mr Glenn. Here, let me have a look at those balls. I used to be a bit of a juggler, you know. Watch this. Hey, how's that then? Look at that. Whoopee, there we go. <laughs> I've still got the old magic, you know. Oops! I've lost one of the traffic lights in that old bramble bush. Hang on, I'll get it back in a jiffy. Ouch! <gasps> now then, what's going on here, Ted? I pricked me thumb on that bramble bush. Very tricky characters, bramble bushes. Approach with caution. If you take your test now, PC Selby, you won't be last anymore. Never mind me, I'll be ready to carry on the race when I've got these prickles out. Well then, let's have it. Well, I seem to have left Pat behind somewhere. So I must be doing well. <laughs> Not bad for an old tractor. Oh dear, Daisy. Got lost, have you? We can't have you wandering all over the road, can we? Come on, I'd better get you back in your field. Shoo, 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 come on. This way. Ooh, come on, shoo. Ooh. Hello, Alf. What's going on? I'm just putting these sheep back where they belong. Somebody left the gate open by mistake. Never mind me, Pat. You go on and try and catch Ajay. Right, oh, Alf. See you later. Pat. And the exciting news is that Pat has now moved up into second place. I can just see his van winding its way down by Intake Farm. Hooray! Come on, Pat! Come on, Dad! You can do it! Hello, Dr Gilbertson. I expect you've got a test for me. Yes, Pat. A driver must have good eyesight. Now, Sarah has painted a picture for you to look at, and you must tell her what it is. Oh, sounds easy to me. Except that I'm all the way over here. Uh, mm, yes, well, uh, uh, it looks a bit like a, a teddy bear. 
No, uh, it might be a dog, I suppose. Look hard, Pat. Hmm. <coughs> All right, Jess. I'll get it in a minute. Um, uh, hang on. It's Jess! Well done, Pat! Lovely picture, Sarah. Can we put it up in the post office when this is over? Course you can, Pat! Come on, Jess. No time to lose. Good luck, Pat. Bye! Now, don't get too excited, Jess. AJ is probably miles ahead of us by now on that super motorbike of his. <coughs> Hold on a minute. What's this? Oh! <sighs> Ajay, what's up? I've run out of petrol. Oh, dear. I should have filled her up before the race, but I thought I had enough. We're near the winning line now, you know. Oh, yes, I know. Go on, Pat. Round that corner and you won the race. Do you know what? I reckon I've got a can of petrol in the back of my van. Have you? It's in there somewhere. I'll, uh, I'll take a look. But, Pat, the race! I'll have you up and running in a jiffy. Now then, where's that can? Oh, dear. It's PC right. Selby! Afternoon, all. What's happening here, Pat? Ajay's run out of fuel. And Pat's stopped to help me. Don't worry about us, Arthur. You carry on. If you're sure, Pat, I'll be on my way. will present the first Greendale Cup to the winner. Come on up, P.C. Selby. Yay! Congratulations. I'm delighted that old-fashioned pedal power has won the day. Thank you, Reverend. Most honoured. And now, a special prize for Pat. Oh, for stopping to help Ajay and losing the chance of winning the race, here's one of Mrs. Pottage's famous homemade apple pies. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Well done, Pat. Thank you very much. Now, anyone for apple pie? Yes, please. And can you make sure you come last next year, Dad? <laughs> postman, postman Pat, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Just the cat. 